So you might be wondering, hey Chris, wh why are you running around with explosives while you're also outside? Uh, is, that's a, a reasonable question, I think. Because I'm far too lazy to clean my room. Isn't that right, son of God? Good. <laughs> Today we're gonna to be doing a video that I said I wouldn't do, the, the BuzzFeed man spreading video. And the reality is, yeah, that video's been done to death, everybody's done it. Once, once Ethan and Hila do it, it's kinda, of, it's really hard for me to talk in this cold. Once H3H3 does it, pretty much it's it's mainstream. Everybody, everybody knows about it by now, there's kinda of no point in doing it. But I figured, you know what, f f fuck it. I mean, let's be fair, guys, uh, 2016 was an absolute clusterfuck of a year. Like, even if you supported Trump, even if you wanted all those celebrities to die, it's like, really, this is actually happening? So I figured, why not end the year with some unity? I mean, let's face it, BuzzFeed is a tremendous laughing stock. So I mean, y you know, we can all just gather here today and just laugh at BuzzFeed. Now, I will warn you, some of the points that I'm going to make here have been made a million times anyway, uh, but I'm gonna do my best to keep things interesting, uh, which is, Probably not a lot because I'm not that talented. All right, let's take it away. What's this video called? Uh, women, women try man spreading for a week. My balls. I don't want my balls sticking to my legs. So let's operate in this fantasy land where man spreading is a real thing and it's a serious thing and it's something that we should all pay attention to. Let's let's operate on, in in that fantasy land. The justification for it isn't hey I, I don't want my balls sticking to my legs. It's hey. I don't want to crush my testes. Which I always figured was a, a pretty reasonable stance. You cannot understand the male anatomy and complain about manspreading. Those two things cancel each other out. Because if you understand the male anatomy, you know why manspreading exists. And if you're complaining about manspreading, you don't know fucking shit about the male anatomy. Like imagine someone walking up to you and saying, excuse me sir, can you give me a good reason as to why you don't want to crush your testicles? I'm I'm waiting. Buzzfeed, when did you get here? I don't I don't recall seeing a short bus. It's starting to get a little windy. It's starting to see some it's starting to see some bigger bigger snowflakes. God help me. God God help me. Man spreading is when a man spreads his physical body to take up as much space as humanly possible. So apparently man spreading is spreading your, your physical body to take up as much space as humanly possible. That's what man spreading is. This is apparently as much space as humanly possible. Man spreading is when a man spreads his physical body to take up as much space as humanly possible. Video's getting boring, Chris, spice it up. The people around you are relegated to a very small portion, but the key to man spreading is not noticing. The key to man spreading is not noticing. Uh, th that was a non-sentence, if, if you didn't guess. Uh, she said absolutely nothing with those words. Snow's picking up. Snow's picking up here, guys. We grow up on two different tracks. People who man spread just are socialized not to worry about it. I have so many vivid memories as a child of my mom telling me to close my legs. With gender, we're constantly working towards trying to get to this middle. This week of man spreading is definitely going to make me feel anxious as much as a super strong feminist I want to say it won't. So as a strong feminist you were under the impression that sitting with your legs slightly further apart than they usually are uh, would would have made you feel absolutely anxious just just destroyed on the inside. I think you might want to look up the definition of, of strong because I feel like that was I feel like that was that was a little bit of the opposite. That's my first train trip as a man spreader. I just feel like a monster already. Uh, that's, a, that's a really poor choice of words given the, uh, given the subject matter, you know, like, uh... I, w I wouldn't use those words. How can you do this every day without being conscious of it? I fucking love it, because the message here isn't women should feel comfortable sitting however they please, it's men feel too comfortable sitting however they please. Those, those damn penis having pieces of shit. I just manspread on the bus for maybe a five minute ride for the first time and it wasn't even half full and I was already getting glared at so I think this is going to be a kind of long week. Oi cunt, people are glaring at you because you're spreading your, you're spreading your legs and then you're recording yourself like a fucking idiot. Why are people staring at me? I just don't understand. It's day two of man spreading and I forgot that I had to do this. Look at how non-discreet that is. Look at how non-discreet that is. You just begging to be glared at, woman. I think whenever a woman takes up space, she's considered bossy, she's considered aggressive. There are a lot of stereotypes surrounding black women and whether or not we're angry or we're dominant. And so maybe a lot of the reasons why I do minimalize my presence is because I don't want to be perceived or engage with those stereotypes. I care what other people think about me more than I should and more than other people do. Feel bad for me, please. 
I just got my nails done and I manspread during my entire manicure and nobody really seemed to notice. I'm not sure if it was because it was all women and we were just all kind of in our own world or what, but it was kind of awesome. Being comfortable is awesome? Holy shit! I, I would have never come to this realization. Oh, I'm being pulled away by the intelligence. Oh, God, help me. Jesus, guys, I, I almost literally got whisked away by the gravity of that discovery. I would have never, I would have never guessed that being comfortable is really cool. Who, who would have thunk it, huh? It's fucking crazy. Oh man. I'm halfway through the week and really not enjoying this experiment at all. I'm still giving my seat up to people who need it because. Of course I am. I had a point written out for this, but it's too cold. I just want to point out that this this is she's probably the stupidest person in this video because she's the only person who submitted her clips to the editor in vertical format. Don't film in vertical, you cunt. You, you work in video. You you work in video production. Don't film in vertical, you're the worst. This this ain't some keen star rap battle. Film like a normal person, Jesus. What is it between their legs that's so important that it requires two to three seats when there are kids, families, women, and elderly people standing up? I want you to notice the footage that they use for this specific point and notice that nobody is standing up. Not a single person is standing up. Not a single person needs a seat. Not a single person is denying somebody else a seat. I just thought that was kind of funny. Also, I really hate the idea that th these people don't understand that women also take up a lot of seats. They have all these fucking bags with their own seats. It's like, oh, thank goodness your bag got some rest. I, I mean, I'm just a full grown man working a fucking f nine to five job. So I, I don't need a rat. I don't need to, I don't need to take a load off on the train. Thank goodness your fucking Louis Vuitton bag had got to got to kick back and relax while my legs caved in beneath me like that actually exists no complaining because it's not about space it's about being a dick to men because that's that's cool and hip now women are expected to be quiet <laughs> small <laughs> and almost invisible and get that camera out of my face, either. Whereas men can be these boisterous slobs, and it's all good. It's at this point in the video that I want you guys to understand the unfathomably strong irony uh, present here. This whole video has been about how women are judged for sitting, uh, for for sit for everything they do, and how like, oh, they can't manspread because it's not okay for them to manspread because society, blah blah blah. Yet the entire video is spent judging men for doing it. The whole video is spent recording men and then mocking them in private. What the fuck? Oh no, that's embarrassing. My neighbors are here, and oh, f ooh, I hope that they pretend that I I'm not here. They, they slowed down, they're wondering what the fuck's going on. But yeah, they're, they're complaining about how women are judged, women are judged, women are judged, and then they're out judging men for doing the shit that women just don't want to do. He, see, here's the difference between men and women, on a general level. I'm speaking generally, I'm making a generalization. When men are judged in public, uh, we just, we don't really care. But women are, are typically more self-conscious about it. They're more, I'm fucking, oh my, oh man, I'm getting fucking sick. I've seen men take up three seats, I've seen women take up three seats. The only difference is, Men just don't care whether that's a positive or a negative. That's up to you But the reality is we just don't care. We just don't care. Just sit how you want if you're a woman and you want a man spread Fucking do it. Who cares? Nobody gives a shit. Nobody on it honest honest to God. No one cares All right, all right. We, we gotta speed this video up. Well, let's just let's just have fun Let's just have a laugh at, at the rest of it. I've not enjoyed this week at all. The very first day where a group of people came on, they were going to a game and they were all desperate for a seat and I was taking up three seats and they started talking about personal space. All their eyes were just on me and they were mostly women. So if it was a group of dudes, I would have been like, yeah. Huh. If it was a group of filthy men, I would have been absolutely ecstatic to be a shit person to them. But since it was a group of immaculate women, I feel bad. This is supposed to be a feminist, right? Somebody fighting for gender equality? Yeah, fucking brilliant, good. Clap, clap for you. Spot on, hang me now. Lynch me from the fucking snowflakes. All right guys, I'm getting cold. I need to get the fuck inside. But I, I, want, the, I, I want to make a, a, a pretty clear point here, which is difficult because I'm losing the feeling in my face. 
it's not an it's not a space issue. Like no, these people don't give a shit about taking up space for people who need it. These people don't care about uh, people taking up too much space on the subway for other people. They care about man spreading. They care about the man part of it. They care about the fact that men sit the way they do, and because they sit the way they do, that's some kind of display of male dominance or some shit or some other bullshit. Even though it's just fucking the way men sit because anatomy. That's what they care about. The male display of dominance. They they could give less of a fuck about whether or not an old woman has space to seat on a fucking train. Oh god, I'm fucking cold, okay. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go back upstairs. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stop this. I'll see you later. I'll see you soon. Bye. Holy fucking hell. Oh, hello there. Puppet Chris Raygun here. I've got my bleach, I've got my microphone, and I'm ready for the new year. Oh boy. So I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who stuck by this year. We hit 100,000 subscribers, 200,000 subscribers, and ended the year at 250,000 subscribers. That's pretty fucking crazy. We started Social Justice the Musical this year, which is the first video of mine to reach 1 million views, which is pretty insane. And I plan on making 2017 just as as fucking crazy as this year. Oh boy, what a fucking time to be alive. And don't forget about the Snark Tank podcast, which is going live sometime in uh, either late January or early February. That's actually a thing. And you can follow the official Twitter account for the podcast if you have any more questions. Oh, oh boy. But that's going to be it for me this year, guys. Uh, see you guys in 2017. Hopefully uh, nobody else dies.